We're Eamon and Beck, and we love van life so much that we've decided to ship our tiny house to another continent. To do this, we're working with a company called Seabridge, and if you can believe it, it only takes six days to sail all the way from Canada to Europe. Last week, we drove our van from Toronto to the coastal city of Halifax, and today we'll bring you along as we prep the van for its sail and drop it off at the port. We then fly to Iceland, where we will be living out of an even smaller, cozier van for the next eight days. This morning, we pick you up right where we left off in beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia. You know, it's not that beautiful. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Walmart. Just packing up the house, the goal is to make it look as not lived in as possible. So that means taking down just about everything over here from the bookshelf, getting rid of the greenery, putting our Vitamix blender somewhere else. We've got a lot of stuff packed back there. So the one pager they sent us is basically outlining, don't be dumb, don't leave stuff in the front cab. They said to remove our stereo, but quite frankly, if they stole our stereo, it might actually be helpful to us. <laughs> um, so we've just gotten rid of everything kind of in here, along the doors, everything, everything up here. These are all empty. Basically, you wanna limit the amount of possible things to go missing. Now, I just wanna point out, look at that water level, okay? That is three quarters full. We haven't filled up once, obviously. It's amazing. Before, we, we had, we would have at least, we would have gone through our water supply completely. Three jugs. Which means changing out three jugs, emptying three gray tanks. No more, folks. <laughs> first things first, we've got a meeting with, I'm pretty sure, the freight forwarder. But we're supposed to be there at 8.30. It's 8.30. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Um, we are dropping off her van, I think. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Fitzgerald. I like it. How does it like that? Really? So guys, time. what I can gather is that this is the actual forwarding company, the logistics company that Seabridge works with. And we're basically just getting a bunch of paperwork and then we're gonna drop off the van you were right, this at the harbor. Time. I got a knack for these kind of this. things. We're now gonna drive this van to the port and hand the keys to some stranger. We have to get rid of our propane first, so we're gonna make breakfast, drop off the propane at Canadian Tire. We yeah. still haven't dealt with the flat tire yet. What the heck? Real flat. I think we have time to squeeze it in, but you don't? No, let's see, well, let's see how we go. Let's okay, let's go to Canadian Tire and see yeah. if we can squeeze it in. Okay. Scotia Tire, man. You gotta come to the local spot. And they're gonna help us out? They're gonna help us out. Bad news, the tire is cooked. The inside wall, because we had to drive on it, is just destroyed. So we have to get a new tire, but there's no time. We've got the tire rim, and we're bringing that to Liverpool, and that's gonna be kind of the first thing we have to do. Back to Liverpool. Okay. It doesn't matter, because inside, they had about 15 people waiting to get their camper. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm, quick update here. Lovely security guard just told us that they take a lunch break from now until one. So an hour and 15 minutes they have for lunch. It's pretty nice. nice. Right. Our flight is at three. It's all good. We don't need to be too dramatic. Am I being too dramatic? I think so. I'm feeling a little stressed. Like, I don't know why. Anyways, it's nothing we can do about it now. One hour later. Currently driving down a one-way street. The wrong way. And I've got my vest on. Yep. And we are dropping the van, but we need to go in and get permission. Everyone's... Oh Fudge. God. Oh God. This is the lineup of people. We need to wait in line with these other people. I would say everyone I've spoke to in line is people that are actually picking up their vans that have shipped from Europe. So it's kind of silly that we need to wait in line just to drop the keys, but I just quickly asked the lady at the front and she said that is the process. Half an hour. We'll see if we make the flight. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. 
Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. Might have caught the June blues, yeah. I wanna try myself inside the juice, yeah. You know I keep on running from the truth. All right, show us that. Okay. You guys are all legends. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you guys. Bye, Van. <laughs> Thank you. Guys. Thank you so much. Yes, no problem. Where are you going? We're going to Toronto. We have less than 40 minutes until our plane takes off. We gotta go through security. We're going through security now. Okay, no drama. Dude, gate was right here. I gotta go to Washington. Okay. Like I'm so perfect, like I know when I don't know. Like I deserve the shit that you put me through. I don't really do anything bad. You're just okay, we've safely arrived in Toronto. We have only 24 hours until our next flight. We'll catch you back at the airport. Welcome back to the airport. We have a five and a half hour flight to Iceland ahead of us. We'll catch you when we're there. Hey you guys, have a Thanks. good trip. Right. It's a little bit chillier. My throat is hurting and I didn't sleep at all, but I am so excited to say welcome to Iceland. This is gonna be a workout for the day. <laughs> Aaron and I are currently waiting for a bus to take us into the main town of Reykjavik. And while we do, I am taking advantage of the free Wi-Fi here because I have some accounting that I've been putting off and our poor lovely accountant has been messaging and messaging and Sorry, messaging. Raj. Sorry Raj. We're using our new VPN from Surfshark to ensure that all of our data is safe. Using a VPN gives you a nice extra layer of security. So when you're logging in on a free public Wi-Fi like an airport or at hotels, it can be really easy for hackers to get all of that information. It was easy to install on all of our devices, so now we can surf in peace and get that banking and accounting done. You're welcome, Raj. Also, another reason I'm super excited to be using Surfshark VPN is because you can trick the internet into thinking you're in a different place than you are. So I'm not sure what the Netflix situation is going to be like in Iceland, but I can just set it to Canada. It thinks I'm in Canada and we can surf like we're at home. Canada? America's way better. Or, or America. But I'm also super excited because there's this TV show I loved when we lived in Australia called The Block. Any Aussies out there? <laughs> I don't know if it's cool to, to like beauty. this show. No, it's a great show. But I'm so excited to trick the system into thinking I'm in Australia and like binging every season of The Block since we lived there in 2013. So I have a lot of catching up on that to do. If you guys are interested in trying out Surfshark VPN, you can use our code VANLIFE for 83% off and one additional month for free. All of the information will be linked in the description box. Let's, let's go to Reykjavik. <laughs> let's go. What the heck happened here? I don't see the little guy. No, but why did they just leave our bag there? Whoa. Where's the little guy, babe? I don't know. Well, one of our checked bags did not arrive. It was a little guy, so we're concerned about what, why are you holding it down at my... Sorry, I wasn't sister. looking. <laughs> this little guy's just out there in the world all by himself. Yeah. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> we're picking up a camper at Cozy Campers. Okay. You know them? Uh, yep. Moment of truth. How does that Icelandic air taste? <laughs> Woo! Yep, it's tasty. It's just what I pictured. <laughs> All right, I'm taking a nap. We're now at the bus terminal, and I just sent Mr. B a message letting him know, yo, we're here, would love a ride. <laughs> and he already wrote back, so he'll be here soon. I guess it's not four in the morning for Icelandic folks. It's normal 9 a.m. Yeah, it's just, it's just not too bad. Day. 
excited to meet you. Welcome to our tiny house for the next eight days. We were greeted by Mr. B at the bus station terminal. He picked us up, brought us to pick up the camper. We had a very lovely tour from Genevieve, I believe her name was there. And now we get to call Cozy Home. Well done naming the company. Very cozy. Cozy. <laughs> We'll be traveling in the Cozy 5 model, which is a fully equipped off-grid camper. It's got solar panels on the roof, a small fridge, sink with running water, a heating system, which can be very crucial for Iceland, blackout curtains, which is even more crucial than heat, and a convertible sofa bed. It may be tinier than our van, but we feel right at home here. I thought you and I could go explore the city while we leave Eamon to rest quite literally parked in the middle of downtown. There's Eamon. There's downtown. Let's go. It's no little crowd, but still you are standing out. Sitting with you now, swear that I might leave the ground. Time for some of my initial findings here. A, everyone is saying it's a beautiful day today, but it goes from raining to a little bit of sunshine to a pretty much cold weather. So if you're coming to Iceland, make sure you bring your warm gear. I'm also finding it quite expensive. In fact, we picked up aim and some throat lozenges, and whether or not we did the currency exchange right or wrong, it was like 20 US dollars for a 20 pack of throat lozenges. So I'm super hopeful that those are going to heal him up. And also everyone is speaking English here, no problem. So it's an easy place to travel on my first findings. Let's continue our tour together. Oh, also and perhaps most importantly, I'm out here without Eamon or a cell phone and I feel incredibly safe. Five hours later. Look who's joined me. Babe. Hi there. How are you feeling? <clears throat> feeling rested. You have literally been sleeping all day, which is great. Thanks, Nancy. These things are clutch. <laughs> also, I'm just going to point out that it's 10 p.m. We're having dinner, and this is what it looks like outside. Sun's at 12. Because Iceland's so touristy right now, we're just going to do it the opposite hours. That the day will sleep, that the night will party. Let's go. You have arrived. First of all, our Iceland navigator has a little bit of sass, so that's something <laughs> to get used to. We've arrived at this gorgeous lighthouse I'm about to show you, and there's a little tow pool that Becca's gonna commit to getting into. May I ask if that's your new hat? It's supposed to be an eye mask. Nancy told me I can wear it both ways. <laughs> okay, let's go. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure we want to show uh, our Mr. B that that's how you treat his camper. Sorry, Mr. B. We almost crashed your car on day one. Take two. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. here so my fingers are crossed that the hot spring does exist oh did we mention it's like 12 o'clock at night right now yeah it's literally 11 30 p.m. can you believe that and the sun's just start look at how pink it is over there Get used to this. love it I think I'm gonna start saying lot hey good for you lot hey nice day for it a lot you know I know we're not in Ireland or anything but I feel like lot is very appropriate for this kind of climate <laughs> okay. I don't think this is what you guys time. are talking about. 
A, it's super tiny, and B, freezing. Not a hot spring. <laughs> I'm thinking it's got to be over this way more. No? Nothing. I think we need to give up. No. We're just about to give up, and then we met this gentleman. He's like, what are you crazy? It's just over here. But weren't you by the ocean, Eamon? I was very much so by the ocean, but I don't know if it was enough that way. Also with Cozy Campers, we've got a 4G hotspot thingy. So we have internet wherever we go, which is unbelievably key. Something we don't even have in our own country. <laughs> so we're going to take a second and look it up and get a photo of this place. And bring it down there. Here's the pic. I think that's the thing that we saw. No, no. Yeah, dude. No, because it's so thin around it. We'll this see. This is thick. That's it, folks. That is the exact pick. Well, there's something wrong with this little spring. Sorry, buddy. That's all right. I'm sorry for bringing you on this mission with me. I didn't think that it could potentially not be full, but hey, that's nature. On to the next hot springs. So this is the spot. Looks like that's a hotel. I don't know what that is. There's some retail shops along here. And there's like this Brandon building here. And this one has like graffiti all along the front. So it looks sort of abandoned-ish. Anyway. See so how we go. I can't believe how bright it is at like 12.30 at night. Hello, madame. Hi, Twisty Turvy. Hey, guys. So I'm thinking this is this might be the end of today's video. What do you think, babe? Yeah, man. We're gonna sign it off here. Welcome you guys to Iceland for one last time. Thanks for the extra lighting, cause it's still bright outside at 1 a.m. Oh, oh, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Join us next week as we leave the city of Reykjavik to discover what Iceland has to offer. We enjoy a nice soak in a thermal river, marvel at the geysers, and put on some suits to snowmobile across Europe's second largest glacier. Make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss a video from us.